Leo's Singles Welcome. This is your singles reading in the January time frame. I feel like this read really a timeless read for whenever you happen to see it. But what I'm doing here is meet the soulmate. It's an always positive read because I'm simply asking spirit to help me describe the one who's right for you. Not your next mistake, your next ex-husband, ex-wife, ex-boyfriend, ex-girlfriend, but the one that spirit thinks is right for you. So you come in with the bottom of the deck, the queen of wands. I don't normally count the bottom of the deck in this uh, reading here, which really I call the four pillars read. So I'm looking at the four pillars of a relationship to uh, get an idea of the astrology of your person. We'll, uh, usually get something about behavior. Um background history maybe pick up on a story that they may have to tell and i'll really zero in on some of their astrological uh, aspects as we go along so here we look at the emotional and i see the moon with two cards intellectual two cards see the sun here we see venus and mars love nature sexual energy here here we have what i want to call lifestyle core values these four pillars of uh, relationship here um, and what I think we're looking at is a Capricorn moon with this Queen of Pentacles uh, I think they had um, this person a uh, parent that was very dynamic uh, is probably like a father figure here um, I think they had like a very stable childhood uh, they might have had a father who was in some way a hero to them I get with this Knight of Wands under the Queen of Pentacles this is in their emotional nature um, so a pretty solid childhood um, you know they have this Capricorn mood I think they come by it very honestly um, this can be very self-contained they're not a needy person they, they don't really know the meaning of the word needy we also have Virgo Sun here okay so strong earth personality uh, someone is very solid, you know, they're, they're, they're not going to get emotionally overwhelmed. Um, I think if it's a, this is a woman, it would be a daddy's girl. If this was a man here, it'd be someone who was heavily influenced in a positive way by their father. I see it's not a one being positive. Uh, but meaning, this would be the type of person, you know, if it's a daddy's girl, you know how that goes. Um, really loved the father. Father was there for her and this kind of thing. Um, if uh, it's a strong father figure, it's just a father with whom the man had a really good relationship. Uh, this is a father who would have taught the man like how to be a man just by demonstrating it. This is someone that uh, this person saw in their parent or both their parents are in an environment where they grew up. That was healthy and dynamic and strong. Um, and their parents probably busy uh, building a business of some kind, uh, building a life for them. Um, they may have been a dynamic individual, someone that was a spokesperson that spoke out, that spoke their mind. It might have been very well a fire sign. And I'm thinking more of like a father here. But it would sort of lend a whole dynamic to the childhood. And I think this is someone that actually had a good childhood, which in itself is kind of distinguishing. Um, <clears throat> now with the Six of Pentacles, it, this is the Virgo card. And the Two of Swords um, is bringing some of that uh, energy to them of Virgo where they can be really critical of themselves. And so I think he would say, remember, this is your person. This is not triggery. This is uh, or Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, I should add. Um, but this is someone who's going to be very Virgo. Um, you know, whatever you want to read about the Virgo archetype, I think this is kind of how they're going to be uh, in, with, in the, the way they act. The Sun is so much of uh, just how we naturally are, how we naturally want to be. Uh, and probably with this Two of Swords down here, also in the position of the unconscious, I see it, even though this is the conscious mind, it's kind of unconscious mind in this column. But, you know, they, these things would be to themselves, so you'd almost you know, have to be in their mind to kind of see exactly how uh, this works for them. It's just kind of how, a part of their nature, but 
you know, so their per person has like uh, a natural hermit energy, which is the Virgo card. So someone that's introspective, you know, when they're, they're weighing things, they're really not comparing themselves to anything else. They're always in a loop of meeting their own internal uh, standards, which are very real and very high. Very most likely, this would also be an individual who has some higher education, specialized training. Um, definitely see this be some kind of entrepreneur here. Um, this it's it's almost you could say maybe this is like a family trait with this Knight of Wands, the way this is showing. Um, and this may be you know if you go back psychologically, I know what's perfect. Let's say your person's perfect or anything, and say the right one for you. You know, part of the, the dynamics of this family and the flow of it was, you know, it made them pretty self-critical. You know, they had a lot to live up to. But I, I don't see this as a thing like they're a male where they're all hung up because they could never be as good as their dad or anything. Um, it's just they always held themselves to a high standard. You know, if they didn't get a good grade in elementary school, they, they didn't need their parents to kick their ass. They were already kicking their ass as a child. I bet you. They'll maybe tell you that story. Ask them. Say, yeah, I, I take things very seriously. So, you know, it would be exactly like that at work, too, uh, with Virgos. You know, they're, they're, they're the least of all sides that need any kind of help. You just let them do their job. They'll do a great thing, humbly in the background, keep everything's moving. Now, we come here, this is their love nature and the sexual nature. So I'm going to look here. I think we have a Leo Venus for them. Um, it, uh, here I think we actually have a, a Libra Mars. So it's quite a combination. And uh, it's interesting because over here next to the Five of Swords, you have the Three of Swords. The next to the Ace of Wands, you have the Six of Wands. This is their core values, lifestyle. Now, I often see the sexuality, particularly the love nature, relating, you know, more to the unconscious energy over here. Uh, but here, it, I see they they kind of, the same way that they react in terms of love and relationship, uh, they're reacting the same way in terms of how they, 10th uh, house energy, public image, how they present themselves to the world, how they interact with the world, what they do for a living. So, uh, you know, in other words, this is a person, uh, however they behave with you, they probably behave in a similar manner, uh, you know, with whomever they would work, you know, uh, could consider it like a family energy here, too. I mean, if this is a male, too, it comes to mind with this combination, this could be a protector male. And even if a female, uh, this is someone that might be inclined to exhibit uh, bravery, um, it would be more with the Virgo sun, the kind of bravery that, you know, they would stand, especially a Capricorn moon, they would stand up for what they believe in with the, you know, absolute, you know, pinnacle type uh, uh, rigidity that would be uh, hard to resist. So it'd be more like that than, you know, wanting to be like a superhero. It'd be someone that could be... Uh, you know, stand up to anything and say, that's wrong. Um, I, I'm sorry, I don't care what, you. I don't care if you're the government or if you're the religious leaders or whatever, that's wrong. And it would be, that's where this Five of Swords comes in. Uh, they have some kind of strange relationship. The Libra might be kind of debilitated. Uh, maybe there's something going on with Pluto and Libra, or it is exalted, but maybe, maybe that's not the thing. Maybe it's square in uh, Libra. Uh, the the uh, Mars is square Pluto, something like this, uh, some kind of difficult aspect with Pluto possibly here, um, and not Saturn so much, but Pluto I'm getting. Um, so in terms of what they do, uh, in very fiery kind of energy with Six of Wands, uh, in terms of the way they would be around their house, I think it would be like a Leo, like they would kind of be a center of attention. You know, it may have been like a, one of the parents was sort of center of attention in their na home, and it was natural because probably they were like a fire sign. I mean, maybe the other parent was an earth sign, were self-contained, and, 
you know, they're, I'm a fire sign. You know, we always got to be talking and acting out. You know, sometimes it gets on the nerves. You know, I had a Capricorn wife 25 years. God bless her. So it's like, you know, even if we're calm, you know, to, to an earth sign, a fire sign might seem to not be calm at all. Um, so this is a person that has a certain dynamism about them. And they uh, operate kind of the same way. Like, I'd say, like, it'd be hard to go into a room with this person not kind of be a little infectious, you know. They're going to have kind of a, a constantly positive, forward-looking uh, mentality. Um, they're, they're aspected with two sixes here, the six pinnacles, the six of wands. Uh, what they do for a living, they take action, you know. They're, they're capable of being, like, somehow proactive. They may... They may be a person who could predict trends. I mean, it's weird. Maybe it could, it could go anything like uh, finances. It could go into the fashion industry. Uh, this kind of thing. Uh, so, and, and with the Three of Swords down here, the Five of Swords, I, I keep hearing know when to hold them, know when to fold them. Well, they, they know when to fold them, so there's a, a real practicality about them. There's also a kind of all or nothing about the way they love. All or nothing. So, you know, uh, when, like when this person loves you, like they're going to light you up, light you up, you know, uh, with this Leo energy. Um, it, it just literally be like a bright light, you know, that you're drawn to. Uh, but at the same time, it can be kind of demanding with them, with this Libra. It's kind of the similar energy where they're kind of holding themselves responsible extra responsible to do extra well you know uh putting kind of pressure on themselves like an internal part of their structure it could be the same thing in terms of a relationship going on here but now they're putting that kind of pressure on the relationship so uh, again this is your person let's say they're perfect uh but now one thing about this dynamic with five of swords they're probably going to uh, communicate well so, you know, uh, if you could communicate, uh, I think it would be fine uh, because there's no passive aggressiveness. There's just wide open communication um, and there's nothing to be unclear about, you know, uh, with them. Uh, and so I think it could actually be very healthy. Um, and then they might exhibit kind of a similar dynamic just in whatever it is they do for a living. It's like, they're quick to cut their losses. They're quick to recognize when something's not working. They, I think like some of you might hear them even say, I keep hearing, uh, ah, I, I don't do lost causes. Uh, just not in me. Just not in me to do lost causes. Maybe that's what this Three of Swords is saying here. And again, that kind of could go back to something they kind of got from their appearance, from the lifestyle. It's like, uh, uh, there's an energy with it of uh, don't, uh, put your energy, son or daughter, they got from their parents, and it was this unspoken energy. Do not put your personal energy into things that do not serve you, do not bring you accolades, do not make you a winner. <laughs> it could even have maybe, maybe it's that language, it's not language would be familiar, familiar to me, but possibly. That's like, you know, son, daughter, why, what are you doing? Don't give your energy to things that do not bring you greatness, do not exalt you. And that's kind of a lesson they learned, and uh, they may feel that same way in terms of a relationship, you know. Um, so, and again, if they choose you, they're they're going to choose you, you know, uh, like the a lion here with this uh, Leo uh, uh, Venus that they have. So, I think that could be very good for you, Leo. So, I think with this person. Uh, could really be the kind of person they have this combination of kind of fire and earth um, that um, they kind of really um, balance things out for you and work for you pretty well. So let me know, guys, what you think of this. Please do leave a comment. This is meant to be a predictive read, so this is possibly not someone you've probably seen before or met yet, but here we are at the end of January. Give it a minute into uh, February here. Uh, we're asking spirit, so this uh, the person that's best for you should be rolling into your life. Get back to me, hit me up when it happens. Say, hey, I just met this woman, this man that you were talking about, Dave. <laughs> and if you haven't subscribed, please do. Need all help I get. Thank you, guys.